My name is Mark Taylor. I'm a master clock maker, stroke horologist. Well, I, it started by accident with a clock I'd acquired. Um, I'd actually, many, many years ago, a family piece wasn't working, and I, I went out the various clock repairers and didn't quite like what I heard them say about the clock. They didn't really instill confidence. managed to get the clock going myself. Obviously didn't do it correctly as I would today, but managed to, um, to, to just work out what was wrong with it, why it wasn't working. Um, then decided to take it up as a hobby and qualified as a clock maker in 1986 with the British Horological Institute. Started this business in 1987 and the rest is history. Starting to reassemble this antique English on case clock, which we've we've restored the movement of. Um, first of all, I'll keep some line wound on. Made various parts for it, and uh, begin the the laborious task now of assembling and making sure that all these antique parts work together well, and also work with the new parts which we've made, which look authentic and match the original. With all the clocks in here you won't find two that are identical with all the hundreds of clocks in front of you. So you, there's always something new, it's never boring, every, every clock has its own personal faults and foibles. This is so, so labour intensive here and it is so demanding. Um, you, you have to put a lot of hours in because you can, it's alright quoting on a clock but more often than not you may quote 10 hours, 100 hours, 500 hours, 2 hours, whatever but usually you end up, you have to stay with it until you're happy and the time drags on. That's time you don't usually charge for and that you lose so quite often you're here till 8, 9 o'clock at night. The complexity of the work that I carry out is extremely um, complicated. We rarely get two identical clocks in. The work is rarely identical on, on two clocks. Um, a lot of it is minute work, so we pay attention to detail. A lot of it is very fine work. Um, some of it is larger, but there are still small aspects of those larger jobs. Uh, it's 
the, a great deal of concentration and thought is required to carry out the work. Some of the tools we use in the workshop and the restoration process um, are antique, um, some of them even being 18th century. We find that that's crucial um, because we need the work to look like the original. But the tools we use are um, uh, 8mm watchmaker's lathes onto a big Myford engineering lathe. We have wheel cutting engines. Uh, and, and a long list of hand tools from screwdrivers to tools we've made ourselves and files and hammers and shaping tools and cutters and all other kinds of things, punches, saws, all kinds of stuff. It's really based on trust. People come into this, this business uh, with their clock and Obviously they don't know anything about clock repair or, or the processes involved, but we do try and educate them. We spend the time with the customers. We try and uh, put it across just how labour intensive it is. And with the trust, um, they're usually pleased with the, the end result. What inspires me to come into the workshop every day and carry out this work, because it is quite laborious um, and financially not as rewarding as it should be, uh, is really just the passion um, and, just, and the end result because sometimes we will get a clock that's totally rusted up, parts missing, smashed to pieces and when it leaves this workshop it's guaranteed like the day it was made.